I went to Colorado and, and those mountains were just fantastic. But the second that I got into Ecuador, it's like my whole life was just changed by the, by the glory of God and just how his power was so evident in this place. I look into Ecuador, I'm like, how do people not believe in Christ? Like, I mean, you see all this beauty and all this divine power, and yet there are people who deny the name of Christ. My experience here in Ecuador is the, just the presence of God in Camp Chicago. And like how Byron and Esteban and Steve, how this, they're so close to God and they love Him so much. I mean, they hiked eight hours just to go preach the Word of God to people in the jungle, which is amazing. On the third day of BBS in Apatu, I met this eight-year-old girl, Kimberly, and her little sister, Yuna, who was one, and she was carrying her on her back. And when it was time for the songs, I asked her if I could hold Yuna, and so she reluctantly let me hold Yuna. But by the end of the songs, I could tell that she was really being able to enjoy herself without having to worry about this chunky baby on her back. It was nice getting to see Kimberly be an eight-year-old girl and actually get to run and play with her friends without having to worry about a sleeping baby on her back. I think the main thing that God taught me here is that we just need to be so grateful for what we have because these kids who you can you can tell they have they have not not even close to what we have they're just so grateful for every little thing and so happy and joyful. The main thing that impacted my life were the kids at BBS. Their joy, their joy that they had from Christ. I mean, they have nothing. They have nothing. They live in these concrete houses, these little box concrete houses. They're all dirty. They have little rundown clothes. Like Lainey said, they carry around their little brothers and sisters, and yet they have so much joy. And that, that makes me want to have that kind of joy. I see in America that our kids, our, everybody in America, we don't have that joy. We don't have that joy from Christ. We don't have that joy from pretty much anything. And I believe that that joy is only found from Christ. Today, uh, we had exactly enough craft for 199 children, and we were expecting a really large crowd, and we were a little worried that we weren't gonna have enough. So Laura, uh, by herself, and I by myself, were each praying that um, the Lord would multiply um, our craft project like the fish and loaves. He showed up in a really big way today because at the end of the day, we um, had over 200 children show up, but we ended up with like 30 or 40 extra craft projects and um, every single child did a craft project and we were pretty much blown away and amazed by God's grace and mercy. So um, we just had a really great time and I just wanted to share that with you today because of your generosity that we were able to participate and see this miracle today. I would like to thank everybody in the church through their giving and all their prayer and thinking about us while we're here. I'd like to thank everybody who has supported Aaron and I in prayer for all the donations that were given to us. Y'all are such a blessing, the church family. I love y'all so much. Thank you. I would like to thank my church and my church family for supporting us on this mission trip to Ecuador. Thank you to everyone at Tabernacle for um, your support. Uh, buying Chick-fil-A dinners or letting us watch your children um, for a parents' night out because it made a huge difference, not only for me, but for all of your children that came uh, with us on this trip. This week has truly been a mountaintop experience that has changed my life forever.